OK, so now let's look at this example of a line with slope of 2 and a line with slope of negative 2. As you can see, the positive 2 is going on an upward trajectory. And with negative 2, it's going downward. Remember, you always want to think left to right. Just like we write left to right, we also do math very typically from left to right. So it goes up from left to right. And in the negative one, it goes down from left to right. So now, just to analyze this really quickly, we can see that if we write this over 1, as we know all numbers can be written over 1, we see that we have a rise of 2 and a run of 1. Rise of 2, run of 1. So we go up 2 and over 1 right there, up 2 and over 1 right there. And we could keep going in that same fashion. And same thing over here. We're over 1. So we have a rise of negative 2, or we're falling 2, we're going down 2, and we're going over 1. So here we're going to go down 2, over 1, down 2, over 1, and we're going to get that negative slope. Now remember, the reason that we're writing this as 2 over 1 is because, of course, we can always write them as 2, as any number over 1, as I said before. And it really gives you an opportunity to visualize the concept of rise over run. And I want you to always do that whenever you have a whole number for your slope.